It's been 15 long years of not knowing what happened to Courtney Struble. She was last seen in a gray hoodie and blue jeans. Courtney has a birthmark on her neck and a scar on her shin. Nicole Burkholder grew up with her and has spent half of her life without closure. At times, she can't help but fear the worst. It's it's one of those things where you just don't you don't want to think of something like that because it, it's just hard to think of her gone. But you know, it's just like within 15 years, you kind of have to like you know you hold on to hope, but at the same time, you almost have to mourn that person. Like many, she has often tried to figure out what happened. Courtney was watching movies at a friend's place on the outskirts of Estevan. She declined to ride home that night, choosing to walk. Investigators believe she made it back to the city, but that's where the trail ends. Burkholder believes that someone knows something. Courtney was at first considered a runaway. The teen was known to have troubles at home, but countless tips seem to be nothing more than rumor. RCMP reviewed the file years after the disappearance, finding that the teen was likely to have been a victim of homicide. The RCMP also believe that someone knows something. We're missing those pieces of that puzzle, and we haven't found her yet, and 15 years is a long time. Um, and how are we going to get those pieces, I don't know, other than the person who knows what's going on. Even if they don't know what's relevant to them, if they come forward to us, we know where that piece maybe lies in that, that puzzle, and it can push forward an investigation. Sometimes all it takes is one phone call, and they can change the whole scope of an investigation. The case remains alive with the RCMP Historical Case Unit. The investigators and those who knew Courtney still aren't giving up hope, forever in search of an answer about what happened to Courtney Struble. Kendall Latimer, CBC News, Regina.